What is up, guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, and today I have for you a uh, another money-making method video a guide. So in this one, uh, we're going to be looking at ways to make money by farming uh, field bosses for their essences. So in case you didn't know, you can buy the essences for field bosses, and people tend to buy these in order to uh, to get the costumes that they want for the from the various field bosses. So uh, they actually have a pretty lucrative market. You can make quite a bit of money off of uh, farming these bosses, uh, depending on the time of day and how many other people are at the bosses and other things like that. Um, but it's pretty super easy to solo. Uh, you don't really need any anything after you beat the main story anyway. You really don't need much of anything to uh, to do this. So the first one we're going to look at is the Profane Jinxi Essence. Uh, this is where I am right now. And as you can see, they're going for about 24 silver right now in the market. Um, they had a minimum of about 10 silver. So there's a big price fluctuation in this, but um, it, it's actually a, it's a pretty reliable method for making money. Uh, they're, they're easy to get and if you hit it right, like right now, you can get it's basically getting a gold per uh, per boss skill. Next one we're look at is the carry essence. So uh, this is a bit more difficult of a boss to solo, uh, not because of its like difficulty, but because of how long it takes to spawn it. And as you can see, it also has a wide price range uh, that it was going for. What is that like, 14 to 24 silver? Or so um, also has a, has a bit of a range. And uh, next one we're gonna look at uh, is the Pinchy essence. Um, so it's Pokey's little brother, Pinchy. Um, and so Pinchy's Essence, it's the scorpion outside of Yahara's Mirage. And um, so this scorpion's actually a bit difficult to farm simply because there's so many phases involved in it. Every 20% it digs itself down. So this isn't as good a way to farm up, um, farm these up, but they tend to remain relatively constant in terms of their price uh, due to the difficulty to farm. And then a final one you could look at is the Lycan Essence. So, um, so the Lycan boss is pretty simple and easy to farm. Um, it just spawns. There's no spawning mechanics. You just run up and kill it. And as you can see, it's going for 20 silver a pop right now, um, but it fluctuates wildly again because you do get three rewards uh, just for completing the story. So um, people tend to uh, put their their uh, essences up right after completing the story. Um, so those are the main ones to look at. And I guess we're going to start off by doing the uh, profane Jingxi since we're here right now. So. So to spawn this boss, all you got to do is uh, go around and kill these guys and put their orb inside of that little container there that you saw right there. So just kill a guy, grab the orange orb, and uh, put the orb inside of the uh, thing. So as far as gold making goes on this uh, on this boss, it's actually basically with all these bosses, the uh, the value of the essence is how much of gold you're going to get per minute. So uh, the value of the stalker essence right now is what, 24 silver. So it's 24 silver per minute because um, you can basically get... 60 of them an hour. So uh, that comes out to a total value of 9 to 15 gold per hour. So when you're gauging uh, which one you want to do or which one of these methods you want to do or which boss you want to farm, um, that's basically what you should gauge it by. Whichever one has the highest essence price, that's going to be your uh, that's going to be your gold per minute um, when you farm the boss. So uh, immediately after finishing the boss, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the uh, pick up your essence, but then you're going to go to the top right and you're going to change your channel. So you just switch channels to channel 2 um, or channel 1, whichever one you're on. And then you have another round of the boss to go through and uh, do the boss again. So that's how you get the maximum uptake. And you should be able to do two bosses every eight minutes at uh, all these places because the respawn times tend to be about five minutes. All right, so next on the list we have uh, King Carry. So King Carry is a uh, boss over in the Plogstead, um, over in Moonwater Plains. And uh, to spawn this boss, you're going to kill about nine of these crabs. So um, I'm just going to fast forward through killing all the crabs. And eventually, after killing enough crabs, you're going to spawn the boss. So uh, King Carry is relatively easy to beat. Um, once again, there's no tricks. It actually stuns you a bit more often than the stalker uh, or than the uh, profane she does, but she's pretty easy to beat. And once you beat her, you're gonna get uh, three essences. So um, it's a bit slower rate than uh, on the profane Jingxi or on the like and the mighty that we're gonna do next. Um, but it's also if, if it's going for more money, then it could be worth it. No, uh, you just have to be be aware of how much money you're gonna be making on this. And the final one I'm going to talk about today is going to be the uh, Lycan the Mighty. Um, so Lycan the Mighty has no requisites to spawn it. It's just chilling here, and you can just run up and kill it. Um, it's only going to make you uh, 0.1 to 0.2 gold per minute. The 0.2 is a bit higher on the silver price there. Um, for a total of 6 to 12 gold per hour, so nothing too crazy on the uh, Lycan the Mighty. However, its ease to spawn and uh, ease of difficulty is uh, a great boon to it. And once again, you just switch channels after killing it once. Um, so as far as the most, most like efficient method for doing this, or the way to maximize your gold gain, is actually to run the Profane Stalker boss, so the, the Profane Jingxi, over in the other thing, you run it twice. Then you will wind stride over to the location here, run over to the Lycan, and you can kill the Lycan two times uh, in the time it will take the Profane Jingxi to uh, respawn. Uh, and then after you finish this, your wind striding time should be back up, and you can head back over to the Profane Stalker. Um, you should be able to do four of these cycles, four of these bosses, 
uh, within a 10 minute period because um, you have two and a half minutes between switching. So if you're really firing on all cylinders, you should be able to do this. Uh, What's that? You should be able to do it each of them four times per 10 minutes um, for a total gold gain of uh, 0 0.208 to 0 0.352 gold per minute. Um, so silver per minute, 20 silver to 35 silver per minute, and then 12.48 uh, to 21 gold per hour by doing this. Now you have to keep in mind that you're going to have to deal with uh, with lots of people doing this at the same time. So you might miss some of the bosses if you try to teleport back and forth. So that's why I'd recommend only sticking with one. But if you're really firing on all cylinders and if your server's dead or if you're playing this at the weird hours of the morning and uh, nobody's on, this is a great way to uh, go ahead and farm some money. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, we've got lots of great Blade and Soul content on this channel. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Peace.